Hey, this is section one, properties of exponents. So we have several properties of exponents and we're first going to be solving them using our variable a as our constant and m and n as exponents. So say we have a to the m times a to the n. This is the equivalent of a to the m plus n. So we're adding our exponents. So if we use actual numbers, we have 5 to the third, for example, times 5 to the negative 1 equals add these together and we get a 5 squared, which is 25. Secondly, we have a to the m raised to the n. This is the same thing as a to the m times n. So when we raise an exponent to another exponent, we multiply them. So let's use 3. We have 3 to the third squared. So the 3 is multiplied by the 2, and we get 3 to the six, which is 729. Next, we have the product of a times b times m. This is equivalent to a to the m times b to the m kind of distributing the m. So once again, with numbers, let's have 2 times 3 to the 4th, equivalent to 2 to the 4th times 3 to the 4th, which is 1296. Next, we have a to the negative m. This is equivalent to 1 over a to the m, when a is not 0. So, once again with numbers, we have, for example, 7 to the negative half, negative 2, excuse me, the same thing as 1 over 7 squared. And when we move the value to the denominator, it becomes positive. So, we have 1 over 49. So, in another property, we have a to the m divided by a to the n. And this is the same thing as a to the m minus n. So when we divide our exponents, we're subtracting them. And once again, a is not 0. So we could have 6 to the negative third divided by 6 to the negative sixth, equivalent to, so we have negative 3 minus negative 6. Be careful with these negative signs. So this is equivalent to negative 3 plus 6. So we have 6 to the third which is 216. Finally, we have our quantity a divided by b raised to the m. Once again, the m distributes kind of. We have a to the m divided by b to the m when b is not zero. Now we have four sevenths. Squared is the same thing as 4 squared over 7 squared, which is 16 over 49. So let's apply these properties to a problem. r to the negative second divided by s to the third, the whole thing raised to the negative third. So first, we can apply the negative third to both r to the negative second, and x s to the third. So each of these is raised to the negative third. Then we can apply the property of when we raise a power to another power, we have a multiplication of those exponents. So we have r to the sixth because we have negative two times negative three over s to the negative ninth. This s moves up to the numerator because it's negative. So we have r to the sixth, s to the ninth. Our second problem, b, 16m to the fourth, n to the negative fifth, divided by two n to the negative fifth. So we can simplify the 16 over two to eight. Then we still have our m to the fourth, but we're subtracting negative five from negative five. 
So we have n to the 0, which is the same thing as 1. So we just have 8n to the 4th. 